guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing the top 10 Kickstarters of the month. And before I jump into the list, I do have a couple of friends who have Kickstarters, so I'm going to shout them out, though I'm not biased. And also, I have Kickstarter Consulting, so if you're interested in upping your game for Kickstarter from a PR angle, uh, how to use social media during your Kickstarter, and how to have good page presentation on Kickstarter, uh, go message me and, and we'll talk about some consulting. Now let's jump into my uh, one of my friend's campaigns, which is Hatchand, who has Smoke Weed, See the Future. And this is a volume two. And I just feel like he's been killing on killing it on Kickstarter. And one thing I've been loving seeing from him is just how frequently he's been on Kickstarter. He just had a Kickstarter last month and now he's has another book and, and just seeing sequels for his books as well. Uh, so go check out this one. Now moving into number 10, which is Felix the Cat. And what really gravitated me towards this book is that I think it's interesting to see such a new medium like Kickstarter for comic books to embrace something that's older, a newspaper comic from the 1910s. So that is why that is number 10. Moving on to number nine, which is The Dark Side of Soul. And these are weird tales from Korean lore. And, you know, I love horror stories. and I love things that can embrace different cultures. So this is this is a horror anthology where we get to see kind of a ghost tour uh, behind the scenes, I guess, uh, of a different side of Korea and, and seeing different tales from that. And the artwork is gorgeous for this book as well. So that is number nine on my list. Moving on to number seven, which is another horror book. There's a lot of horror for December, and that is The Darkest Root. And and this had this had a really cool thumbnail. I really liked the the main character and and the look of of his design. And this also has to do with angels and demons. Uh, it has a gritty feel to it. Uh, so this one went on my radar. So putting that as number eight. Moving on to number nine, kind of a very similar feel. And this is Beneath Us. This is issues one through two. And this is actually, the art style, like I said, is very gritty for this one. A similar art style to the previous. This is about a tsunami hitting Indonesia and these creatures kind of coming out of that. It kind of feels like a, a show that you would watch a couple of years ago. And, and I'm curious to see what twist they're gonna have on this because there's definitely been a lot of network shows that have been similar and have done really well. Uh, so uh, again, curious to see that in more of a comic form and more of a horror spin on that as well. And next up is number six, and that is Luna issue one. And this kind of had a cool mature bend to the magical girl genre. Uh, definitely, even just from the art style, it has to do with a queen saving the world uh, instead of like, you know, a princess type character that we'd normally see in the genre. So uh, the thumbnail really, really got me for this one as well. So that is number six. Moving on to number five, which is The Prince in the Garden. This is a BL, a queer book. Uh, the artwork just is very cute for this one. And another spin on, on a trope you normally would see. So instead of the prince or princess kissing the frog and, and finding their love, it's the servant um, who finds the love by trying to find the prince. So I thought that was a different spin on the genre. And again, it, it looked like a cute one. So moving on to number four, which is Brooklyn Tack 2. And this is more, it feels very indie underground type book where uh, we actually get to see a real event of, okay, what is this Brooklyn Tack 2 place look like? How does it breathe? And um, I just like finding art that is on physical people's bodies and transforming it into a comic book art. Uh, so I just thought it was a, a kind of interesting take on what you can do with comic books. Moving on to number three, which is Encore Bronze. And this is an art book by Liam Sharp. So I like when we get to see creators from the big two utilize Kickstarter and, and find a new fan base and, and, and find their new, find a different voice through a different community. And it's cool to see uh, his art collected in, in a, in this book. So if you want uh, a beautiful, like kind of night, I don't want to say nightstand coffee table type book. I, I think this is a great one. So moving on to number two, which is A Very Claus Christmas. This is a very popular book from Boom Studio, so uh, no surprise that they would collect it. But I'm also very excited that Boom is using Kickstarter to do so during the Christmas holiday or during the holidays. Uh, we are seeing uh, this book come out again, and I know a lot of people are big fans of it, so they could get a good collection of it. And this is uh, Grant Morrison and Dan Mora, How Can You Go Wrong? 
Moving on to number one, which is Sherlock Holmes, A Study in Scarlet. And this is a retelling of one of those early tales of Sherlock Holmes in really gorgeous art. I, I love the idea of converting something that was prose into a comic medium. And it just, again, it just looks like a very beautiful book. So that is why it's my number one pick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Let me know in the comments below what were your favorite Kickstarters of the month. And of course, next month I'll have a new set. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.